Okay, this is Brad Brown's Radical Rides, and I'm back at it, you know, so got an early start today, did my my uh, little uh, rev run, and now I'm back at the, the hustle bustle, getting things done, so um, I got people calling, it's funny, because I was, I was like, all right, I'm posting a video, and then somebody calls, like, hey, well, how's my truck going, and it's like, it's right here, you know, so we got a lot of stuff, we've, we've done this probably three times, and the process, a lot of people don't see, is that Painting is easy, and if I could paint all day and have like three or four guys just prepping stuff and getting there, um, that would be great. But this is what takes the most time is is you basically sand it, and new stuff is easy. When it's new metal, like the bed, the bed's easy because all you have to do is sand it, prime it, and you know you're not fixing dents. With old stuff that you're trying to make new or look new, that's the that's where it gets a little tricky. So if you see this little line right here you can tell if that was like bondoed straight because it's a little dinky curve and it's hard to see, but we had some life bumps and dings and dents that just like, man, we're so close, we gotta go back and fix it. So it was gonna be painted for our, our last week of our red, white, and blue. This was gonna be the end, be like, bow, bow, here's our blue, but it just wasn't close enough. So we went back and we've re-scuffed, and even at this now, we got high build primer on here and now as soon as we paint, doop, we see a little dimple here, this and that. So we have, we're at 95%. So we're gonna go through today, block, sand it all, and all the spots that we had to fill in, you know, Bondo and stuff, um, you can see them. You know, so the little, little speck here, the little dent on the side, you know, all the little stuff. So you can see them. So we scuff that again, and we gotta prime it. And then on that, then we can do our final blocking and then we're ready for our white sealer so this is cool i can't wait for this because um our last hood turned out really good um we got the process down to getting the building heat and today is gonna be like 50 something degrees so it'll be easy to get to 72 in our booth um but here's here's the task that most people don't understand well all right let's say i'm an amateur the pros my buddy over there at robinson's auto body are like oh this is how you do it you know you paint you paint both of them you let one dry, tape, paint, and then clear it all together. And I'm like, nah, I was like, I, I'll, I'm gonna take the extra day. And so this is how I'm gonna do it. And I know there's body guys out there that are like, oh no, it's simpler, you can do this. You know, you two hour wait time and then tape and da da da. Every time I've tried to tape something and, and try and save time, it ends up costing me time. So what I'm gonna do, we're going two tone on this puppy. So we got a blue and white going. And so what we're doing is, all of it's going to get hung up into our, we'll call it the meat locker, you know, so our paint booth is going to get, um, what you call it, all cleaned out, ready to go. And so everything gets, uh, once it's done, painted a white sealer. That white sealer, um, make sure everything's uniform so you have a good, nice, uh, um, uniform color because paint will show through if you have a, a dark primer, a light primer, and you got patchy. So I learned that again from Robinson's Auto Body. Uh, the painter over there, Randy, really, really helped me out on my first, on my first paint job. So it's all going to go white to that sealer. Now this is opposite that what he told me, but I'm doing it just because it's kind of the way I do it. So I know I'm going to get a good result. So again, all of it's going white sealer. And then what I'm going to do is let that dry for the 45 minutes um, that it needs to sit. And then I'm going to tape off where the white is and save it. So no blue gets on it. So I'm going to tape it off very good. And then since we have a large portion both front side, back side is getting solid blue. And then I have this is only getting the top portion right through here, all down through those lines. That is tape off and that's gonna get blue and the bottom's gonna get blue. And so then I'm gonna clear coat it, clear coat all of it, and then just walk away. I'm not gonna mess with it until the next day. Then I know my, my clear coat is dry. We can tape on it and we're not gonna have tape lines, we're not gonna have smudge lines. And then we're gonna tape off all this wood. Since it's only the fenders that are gonna get the white on it for this day is going to be, uh, what you call it, um, then shot and then cleared. And so we basically have a little bit of overlay, but it's underneath the, the, uh, um, the trim. So you're not gonna ever really see it. So that's how I'm gonna do it. That's my goal. If we don't, if we find some more specs and we have to move and hit some stuff today, then, you know, it is what it is, but this is the process. It ain't fast, you know? So, and then while I've been working on this, I got Justin, we got a little art project. So Justin's been over here sanding and I've been helping, you know, go back and forth with this stuff. But, um, a 
company called Flexing Gate is really cool that they came and bought a bed off of me and now they then they're like, hey, can you do this? And I'm like, well, sure. <laughs> Little did I know, it was a lot of work. I uh, shortened this because we had to um, shorten this and what Flexing Gate is, it's a company uh, here in Danville. Their original thing, they used to make these gates for trucks that you know would fold down, uh, load cattle, you know, go right up to a, a loading dock and load stuff. So they're actually gonna hang this on the wall and put uh, what you call it, their, their original thing that they used to make at Flexing Gate. So we had to shorten this and the hard part was this is the front of the truck, this is the back of the truck, and then join it in the middle. We've had to, you know, hammer it out and, you know, put the weld it and then put our uh, fiberglass in. And then I'm going to have to bondo from here to here and spread it out, you know, but that's something I've been putting Justin on. He's been doing a lot of sanding. So he's not, this project's ready to go get that out of here. So we've, we've been doing a lot, but my focus today is get the blue on for our red, white, and blue a little late. And then our, our cab, I finally got this piece back here, you know, ready to go. Cause I told you guys, we're going to prime, prime this to make sure this is all good. I'm going to put a little bit of paint in here, even though I'm going to come back and paint it again before I weld this spot on because as soon as I weld this on and this is why it kind of seems why are you taking so long on that well you got to take a couple steps forward then to come back because you notice once I put this on there I can't touch behind there you can't sand you can't get good paint back there but you're still going to be able to see a little bit of it you know from the side so it's just one of those things you know I've learned you know kind of two steps forward one back and then three forward and all of a sudden you make a jump so that's where we're at we got a lot of things going on, and uh, so uh, that's for this, the beast build. We're gonna be getting some blue on, then we'll get blue and white on that, then clear this whole shop of all the small stuff that we have for the other projects, and then we'll focus on the cabs so that we get all the stuff out of the way, clean the shop, start on some other stuff. So hey, you guys be blessed, have a great day. Remember me and mine, there's only one way.